You know, cancer affects us all. We all have a personal story when it comes to cancer. What can we do to help fight cancer? Hmm. Strippers, right, Karis? Yeah, that's right. Just like this, but with better costumes. <laughs> Four by four black, uh, stage, and then the uh, twelve foot uh, gold pole. We're just moving it in uh, in position at the local area, right outside the front there, boys. Well, we could probably say it right now because I'm sure that everybody at Breakfast Television knows that you're trying to set up a porter pole outside their windows. And we have a uh, we have a police escort from the lovely VPE. <laughs> oh, great! <laughs> well, you're right near the cop shop there, so. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. there. Okay, hang on. Oh. Wait, did they block the window? What's the... <laughs> Oh, they're wondering what's going oh, on. Oh, now they're looking. And Traffic will be stopping here. There's a police officer and there's a stripper pole. <laughs> You're not sure what that could be about at 8 a.m. Go on a Tuesday hello. morning. You, you need to move down the window a bit. Move down the window a bit. Maybe traffic delays here on West Second. There was a full setup. Yes. No, we can't see you in the window yet. You got to move over a little bit. Me? Yeah, you. I want to see in the window. Can you move over a bit? I don't know what you're talking about. You're at. Oh, there. Oh my God. There it is. You've made it to TV. You're on TV. We can see a wave. Oh, Jeff O'Neill at it again. That's right. Oh my God. This is magical. You may have to stay there for the rest of the day. That's uh. I didn't think you were going to get any better than Olympic Village, but uh, <laughs> incidentally, this is all for a good cause. This is to promote the sixth annual Exotic Dancers for Cancer, which is this Thursday at the Cecil from 3 until 1. Oh, See if you can get Don Chubay out there on the pole. If you can get her on the pole, <laughs> if you can get her on the pole, I'll give her 100 bucks. Don, are you coming to work the pole? Are you coming to... I'm stuck, but I don't think I'm limber enough. No, I... no I'm not limber enough. 100 bucks. Yeah. I'll get Don right here. Hey, Don. Jeff and Karis want to say hello. Oh, what are you guys doing? Hey, Hi, Don. Don, I'll give $100 to charity if you work that poll, baby. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is a stiff competition out here. <laughs> <laughs> Show them how it's done, Don. Come on. Well, I'll tell you what. If you work the poll, we'll let you sing, because I know you're a great singer. We'll let you sing a little bit on the Fox. I'll tell you what. I'll check with our legal department and see if there's any injury that is possible out here. So, uh, But, you know, we're enjoying the scenery. I'm telling you, what a beautiful day here on West 2nd. Traffic is stopping. Good thing we, too, we got Michelle McDermott <laughs> watching our traffic for us, because I I expect that we'll be hearing some problems. Isn't she awesome? Oh, Don't you, babe? She gets it. Way to go, Don. You're a ray of sunshine. All right, Scott is on the corner of uh, Columbia and 2nd, right at, outside of uh, breakfast television this morning, and uh, I think he's enjoying it. It sounds yeah. like he's purring in a manly kind of a way. Scott's in his Scott place.